Hello, Matterall64 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V. Last time we started the game and we met characters who will be really important to the story. Like, we have our hero, we've met our hero's father, Pancras, Sancho and Bianca. And this time, we're actually going to start the game for reals. You can follow Pancras here. And you can see him actually walk up there. I wonder. And every time you sleep here, at least in this part, he'll you'll always get to see him walk out of the house and go inside cave. And also we have a new enemy. Hello, bear baby. Uh, bye, bear baby. Bear baby. Yeah, I gotta admit. That actually quite surprised me. I didn't think I was that strong, but okay. And also, I'm gonna cut out random battles. Here we get to see Bur Bur Baby, more Bur Baby, and actually get to see him attack after I completely destroyed the one in the last battle. Uh. Yeah, but like I said, I'm gonna start editing out random battles. In my own shoddy way, and I accidentally skipped that. And that was around the battle. For some odd reason, I couldn't get the transition to appear for some reason. <laughs> so it looks like it skips the incredible amount. And oh, hello, boring bug. Boring bugs can defend, and I think they can call for help. I think. There, you can see them defending there. But I think they can call, to, call for help. I remember one doing so because it screams real loudly. And unless you defeat the boring, defeat all enemies currently in the battle at the end of the next turn, at the start of the next turn, another boring bug appears. And we have a shield. A leather shield. So that's more defense. That's why I didn't really bother with. Uh, finding any armor because you'll find more than enough here. And also, I'll heal myself because there's an e enemy approaching that I'm scared of. And by the way, hello, Draki. Drakis are one of the strongest enemies here. Like, they can cause more than one damage. And and yeah, it's not much, but it does add up. Especially, especially since our health HP really, really isn't high. And I ran into a group too, so you get to watch me have a quite scuffle here. Anyway, there was an enemy I was worried about, that's why I healed just before this battle, which is, to be honest, lucky. It's a good thing I did. Considering I ran into this part fight. To be honest, I don't intend to find Drakis. I'm more lucky with the enemy luckier finding the enemy that we're about to about to see soon, which I think is the next battle that gets shown. But anyway, Owen Owen just leveled up. Now hopefully you can control the sword hand more. Which, by the way, that character is awesome. That's why I called my hero Owen. Because Owen in Fire Emblem Awakening is an awesome character. Like, seriously. He's well worth getting. No. Oh. That was just a fight we already seen. I was going to do transitions for that, but they seem to like off some of the video and anyway hello hammerhood hammerhoods can all, can do an attack where it can well mostly as you saw they whiff with their hammers basically completely miss all the time with physical attacks but sometimes they can do this move called 
a desperate attack, which is pretty much never an enemy version of a critical. It will always cause damage. To you, it will never miss. It will ignore defense, and for the, and sometimes it bloody hurts. For hammerheads, they cause like guaranteed ten damage with desperate attack. So that's why I healed because that would suck. Also, this line is actually giving us some really good advice. If you if you walk around in forests and mountains, you actually might encounter more monsters. And also, I think the random encounter rate increases when you're walking through those. But anyway, we have to talk to this old man. And yes, this man is trapped under a rock. While most people in this situation would feel fear, this guy feels boredom. This guy is a freaking legend. Seriously. And actually, Bianca and her mother are in the inn, and this is the guy who's actually supposed to make medicine for Mr. Whitaker. I should have spoken to him first and. Whoa, wait, what? Uh, hello, Bunnycorn? Yeah, and you'll see here, I was tearing at the screen in disbelief. I, you can bump into these guys later, but I actually did not know you can bump into a bunny horn here, of all things, places. You can bump into him later, but I did not know that you can bump into him now, in Wheelbrook, at it. You're doing something new, I guess. Push the rock. Yes, because we're the hero, and despite being a kid, we can push a rock that's pretty much covers up the size of our body. Also, that rock will be important later. Inside, in doing a side quest. But that's it, we can. But don't worry, I definitely will get it, because it's very convenient to get, actually. Because when we have to get it, we have to come back to Wheelbrook. But I'm not going to spoil why, though, and also transition, because we don't really need to see the return trip. Also, that guy there, that god, he tells you that if you get lost in there, he's not going to come back and get you. And also, if you die in the cave, he'll actually, you'll actually end up outside with him, and he'll say, looks like your wounds are healed, make sure you be careful. And I, th I think this guy is supposed to actually tell me about that stone I just picked up from Wheelbrook out there. Not Wheelbrook out there. That, well, I think you need it to get a certain item. Yeah. You can also talk to Sancho to get a rest. Which, after you helped Rockefeller, you need to do this. By the way, that a man we just saved, we, what, that man we just saved was actually called Mr. Rockefeller. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna this part is gonna be as long as the last one. Like definitely not. That said, if I take a little too long on certain Dalek screens, that's probably because I'm probably because I'm thinking that we need we're having a lot of lag. But maybe I'm not sure. But anyway, I think I misjudged how. how long I should be waiting on a certain bit of dialogue to be perfectly honest. Yeah, or either that or I think people are idiots, but of 
course I don't think the latter, because that's just me. I mean, come on, people. I am not IRA Gamer. Okay, that was really mean spirited. But that's it, I'm not a really big fan of that guy. It's just that... In his reviews, I feel that he just focuses way too much on those little skits, most of which have nothing mu nothing to do with the actual game he's reviewing. A lot of the time they feel pointless. And some of his jokes are not really that good and just tend to go over the head. And see, people, people can say a negative, have a negative opinion about Iron Gamer and not, not cut him a riff off. Shocking, right? Yeah, shocking. So here we are, I'm running back. There's not going to be any point in now, um, unfortunately. My sword hand hungers. But, we did get an item. But we are going to get a lot of dialogue. And boy, do I mean a lot of dialogue. There's a white here. I like to pop my head around. I don't know if that's okay. You're n There's no door in front of you. You can see him. Yeah. Go. Uh, maybe we could do that. And you have to do that to progress the story, by the way. Oh, you keep you this. Spoilers, he has. He's just got a cold. Yeah. He's just has a cold. And spoilers, Pancras gets it. He. Yeah. Well, it's not part of the story. But. It is pretty funny. And also, now I can show off party talk. If you press B button, or if you select the talk, or if you select talk in the menu by pressing X, you can actually talk to your party members. As long as you have a human party member with you. But they are unable, they were unable to have children. And the place that is deserted. And yet, after night, after night, sounds of crying can be heard from coming from within the castle walls. <laughs> the end. What are you even referring to that, son? Pretty scary stuff, eh? Uh, yeah. Scary. There's a brick in my pants. Okay. You're talking about uptending powers. That'll become important later. Yeah, it is a lot livelier. Yeah, it is a lot livelier than the wheel. We're back, and also there's bangers, stats. Yeah, I mean, there's a. You're picking on that little cat, you bastards. This pair is really funny. Or oh, maybe it's not a cat. Maybe it's like a I don't know type of cat that doesn't really look like a cat. Well, actually, it looks somewhat like a cat. But oh, come on, what cat have you seen that has a like a mohawk? Let's be honest. Okay, we can have him. Thank you. That's very nice of you. 
Oh, I wait. Oh wait, I forgot. Hard bargain. There's a catch. Yeah, I hate you so much. Right, so looks like we have to go to Abdan Den Towers. Uh Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, I completely forgot I just said no, because I was feeling a bit impish. Then, uh, no. I'm scared of ghosts. Uh, okay. We won't. Definitely not. We won't. Oh, we will. Is that why you just had some kind sort of cold or whatever? But wait, does this mean that we going back to Wilbur? That means we're not going to be able to help Bianca get rid of the ghosts in up down ten towers. Uh but wait! Told me into it. Oh, looks like a luck has just come our way. Okay, let me show you two. And I actually forgot to actually like raid the drawers and wardrobes here. I actually completely forgot. There's not much here though. Honestly, God, there is not much here. But you can find like medicinal herbs, and maybe a High wing, I think. You wondering where we got to? Hmm. Okay, good night. Also, this is one of the rare few times where you get to see an alter an actual sleeping sprite being used in the classic Dragon Quest game. I know. It's one of the rare few times. I don't think they had one for the Super Famicom version, actually. Yeah. Everywhere. Where exactly what we're doing, I can't. What do you mean, where? So, up down that? Up down 10 towers, of course. Oh, yeah! Because we're going to go and get rid of the ghosts, aren't we? And to help that thing. Said thing is the most awesomeness thing in the history of awesome, by the way. So, we have to save it. But I'm not going to spoil why it's awesome. Let's go, okay. And now Bianca's actually a party member. Oh, oh so you're a little idiot. Sorry, I'm yawning. Very professional. Very professional. And also, if you... I think I'll show it off, actually. Actually, but if you put Bianca in the front and examine the mirror... She'll actually have her own reactions to the mirror. Certain characters do have their own reactions to the to mirrors, and yeah, I totally yeah hope she doesn't. But uh, yeah, I don't think I show off. But anyway, I think this is pretty much all the time I have. Next time. On Let's Play Dragon Quest, we're going into Updan Terrace and we're ghost busting. See you next time.